Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Sweat Burn with Weights workout. This is day 13 of your sweat challenge. In today's workout, we will be alternating in five minute blocks using your dumbbells and using your kettlebells. If you have both, you can switch between the rounds. Otherwise, just use what you've got. Of course, I'm gonna give you lots of different options. We're gonna have some longer muscle endurance sets and we're gonna get through this workout quickly. All you need for this workout are your weights and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's get started by getting our bodies warmed up. You can march or jog, roll those shoulders, whatever feels good for you to shake everything out, release that tension and get your body ready to move. Let's take those arm circles a little bit bigger, trying to improve that range of motion to the back as we go. And then let's take them to the front, right through here. Let's go one at a time with a little tap back, opening up the hip, right? So turning into that transverse plane, we call that. We're gonna keep this warm up pretty short, but we will cover those dynamic movements. Let's reverse it right here to get us ready for the exercises that we're gonna do. So if you need more of a warm up, please get it on your own. You can check out my extended warm up and an extended cool down in the description below. Let's do a little hinge. You're gonna reach it down. And as we come up, pull those shoulders back nice and wide right through here. It's a hinge, drive the hips back, up and pull right through here. Hinge, feel that all the way, breathe down. You can do a little back bend if that feels okay for where you are today. But just like everything else, I'm gonna remind you to be where you are today and work to your level. Challenge yourself in a way that's good for you. Let's squat it down, roll through that hip, squat it down. You don't have to get super deep. We're trying to just open up the hips, get ready for that squat pattern. Surprise, we're gonna put some squats and lunges in here. Speaking of, let's add a little side lunge. So squat, roll through, step it out and reach. Back to center. Squat, roll through, step out and reach. Right here. I'm gonna remind you that if you showed up today, you are successful. That is all that matters. It's about showing up. It's about moving our bodies. It's about getting the blood flowing and muscles working. Last one right through here. Don't worry about anything else. I want you to flat back down. Stay safe and keep moving. Those are my rules. That's the name of the game. Show up, stay safe, keep moving. Of course, if you need breaks, take breaks. You need to drop the weights, roll those shoulders here. Go slower or faster than me. As long as you have good form, that's all that matters. Your workout, you do you. Bring it up right through here. We're gonna tap it back and reach. Drive those arms up to the top, opening up the hips. It doesn't have to be a lunge yet. If you want, we can take it, hold it right here. Drop that knee, grab onto the wall if you need to opening up that hip. And then if you're able, walk that front foot out, hand down, reach it up. If you need to keep it upright, that works too. Drop that knee from here. And then take that top arm, reach under, reach up. Rotation through the spine. And breathe. Step it back into that high plank or onto the knees. Whatever is good for you, a little forward and back, warming up the core. Press into the heels, into the toes, into the shoulders and the hands and then press up down dog, back to center. If that's not right for you, you can just take it child's pose to quadruped, all four child's pose to quadruped. Let's take a big step, other side, reach it up. Let's start with the arm, reach through and up, reach through and up, right through here, drop that knee. We're gonna work our way back up to standing, so very carefully bring it up. You're in that lunge, you can drop it a few more times if you want, and then step it forward. Tap it out and reach. All right, team, so here's what we got. We got short blocks, five minute blocks. We're not gonna worry about intervals of 40 seconds, 45 seconds, 30 seconds. I know we often do that a lot. It's good to keep the time, but we're gonna keep it at a five minute block. We won't be working the entire time, 
but we are going to have some longer, what we call muscle endurance sets. Flex that foot. So I wanna encourage you to try to go heavy, but this might be a workout where you have to drop down to those medium weights if you've got them. Use what you've got, but our goal is to push and overload our muscles with what we call overload in volume and duration, right? As we go a little bit longer and we get a little more dynamic. So the way it will start is we will start with a back to basics move and then we will add on. You can always keep it simple. You don't have to add on. You can stick with the basic and really nail down that form on that. Whew. Or you can add on as we go. Step touch right here. It is one of those workouts. Try to get wide and up up the hips. It is one of those workouts where you are gonna have to pay attention to me. When we get down to the mat, I will show you things first so you know my verbal cues when we get to them. Little tap behind. We'll do a little cardio mobility like this in between sets. We'll get some swings and we'll get some core, but otherwise we're working five minutes at a time, five minutes only, that is so quick, alternating dumbbells and kettlebells, right? So it's gonna move fast, I promise, but you gotta stick with me with these longer sets. Go ahead and shake it out. Grab your heavy to medium dumbbells. I'm going to start with my tens, but when we add a little more shoulders, I'm gonna have my fives close by because I think I'm gonna need them from a previous shoulder injury. Always an option to have them close. We're gonna start with a reverse lunge. So core zipped, watch me here. We're just dropping it down, bringing it up. Five minutes starts now. Lunge it and bring it up. So back to basics, it's just a lunge, right? So you're here. I want you to drive up through that front heel. You can let your chest come forward a little bit. We're trying to keep chest open. Try not to round here. If you need to modify, you don't have to go as low. You can just do a little tap back or a squat if that's better for you. Breathe. Here's what I want. If you can, let's keep that lunge, but let's rack it. If the weights here is too much for you, then you keep them low. Breathe. And watch me here. We're gonna add a little press. Press one up and one down as you go through the motion. I know that's a lot, so if that feels like too much, you can drop one dumbbell right here, or you can drop to lighter, like that's what I'm gonna do, because of my shoulder, but do what's best for you. <sighs> Breathe. Yes, four more, four, Woo! three, <sighs> two. I want you to hold it down right here. Alternate those arms, eight, seven, Hold the lunge, you can do it. Isometric, right? We love it. Four, three, two. Hold both arms up if you can. Tap it up, tap it down. If that's too much, keep them low. If you can, whoo, breathe. Yes. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out, roll those shoulders, right? We're gonna get that same thing on the other side, before we do, a little bit of core, hold them right here. Cross and up, elbow to knee. What I want you to think about, keep those arms high. Core engaged, here to here. Yes, you can. Burn, right, shoulders are still working. Eight, seven, six, breathe, five, shoulders and upper, four, Three, two, one, shake it out. There's that sweat, right? There's that high heart rate, little burn in the muscles. We're gonna get it all on the other side. You know what to expect. You know what to do. We're gonna start with just your regular lunge. Make sure you have some space. Here we go. Drop it down and up. Take it slow and controlled. Back to basics. If you need to slow it down, if you need to take it slower than me or give yourself a little more of a breather, Grab it, I know we went right into it, right? <sighs> Breathe. We're gonna keep that lunge. Remember, you can tap back too. Just keep that front leg working. If you can, rack them here. Take it down and up, yes. Breathe. <sighs> and if you want, let's add that opposing press right here. So one up, one down. Think about a push and a pull, right? 
So you're pushing in the legs, you're pushing in that upper arm, but you're pulling down in that lower arm. If that feels like too much, take it to one dumbbell. Yes, you can. Breathe. Keep it moving. Four more. Push and pull. Three. Two. Shoulder burn. Hold it down in that lunge. You got eight. Push and pull. Seven. Six. Breathe. Five. Four. Tighten those legs. Low in the legs. Two. One. Take them up. Step it up and down. Slow and controlled. Yes, you can. Woo. Starts to be like too much. Hold it center. We're taking one, four, three, yes, two, one. Catch your breath, set the weights to the side. We are in that last 45 seconds. I want you to shake it out. No weights. We got 30 seconds to finish out this five minute block. Hands behind the head, we're here to here. So we keep the shoulders working, we keep the core engaged. Finish with some body weight. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. This is it. So I want you to open up the chest. Cross, cross, cross. If you want more cardio, you can pick up the pace, but I don't want you to lose that core engagement. I know, listen to my voice. I'm feeling it too, right there with you. Huh. Woo. Especially if you have heavier weights than me. I know that was a long set, but that's what they're gonna look like for five. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. Quick sip of water. Yes, team. So that's what we mean by the sweat. Getting the heart pumping, feeling that cardio because we don't really get a breather. And the burn, longer muscle endurance sets, right? So catch your breath. We are going to take it to a little bit of core in between. So we're gonna have some two minute rounds of core. So take it down to a seated position. It's up to you, you got one dumbbell. We got a two minute round, I want you to watch me first. You're taking it over your head, over your head. So I really want you to keep the shoulders working in the core. If that's too much, take it seated. Seated or take the weight out of it. Then we're gonna take it all the way down and we'll get some weighted at the bottom with some leg lowers. So listen to my cues, turn your head to watch me, but starting center. Two minutes of core. Here we go. Down, over your head. And up. You can also do this just body weight. I know we just burned out those shoulders and that push motion. Why well, we gotta get a here, Amy, right? Because <laughs> you can do it. Here we go. Take it down. And breathe. Yes. Take those feet up if you can. Four, three, Two, one, slowly take it down onto your back. If you need to take this standing, you can. If you want, you're gonna do pullover into a bridge or pullover into a crunch. Join me. Little taps and lift. Again, this can always be body weight, but I want that deep core. Tilt the pelvis towards you. Get that big stretch through the upper. Feel how that weight pulls your ribs and your hips in. Keep it going, one minute down, one to go. Everything in. Breathe here and up. Two more right here. You can always have the bridge. All right, watch me here, hold the weight up top. Let the knees drop, back to center. Let the knees drop, back to center. If you're modifying, just lift and lower with the bridge. Keep it moving, team. We got down and lift, take it down, and lift. Shh. Hold everything center, take those legs out, slow bicycle. If you're modifying, tap your knees down in a bicycle from the bridge or the floor. And if you want, take it elbow to knee. Eight, seven, we are so close, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and relax. Up onto your feet. Team, that is what it is about. Burn, right? We're going a little bit longer today, but we're getting through this workout quick. 
So weights to the side, grab a heavy to medium kettlebell and join me in the center. All right, team, so catch your breath. If you need to, little cardio mobility, roll those shoulders right through here, little taps while you watch me. We're starting in 30 seconds. We got our second five minute round. We're gonna start with just a plie, kettlebell in the center. We're gonna add a row where we bring it here and then we bring it up. We hand it off at the top, plie, row. Then we're gonna take it to one side with a moving plie and a row. Then we'll get the other side. I'm gonna talk you through it as we go. So stay with me. You can always separate them out and keep it back to basics. Core zipped, shoulders back, grab that kettlebell in the center. Here we go, five minutes. Squeeze it up. If you're able, try to touch that kettlebell to the ground while keeping that chest open, right? Not here, right? Different exercise, but here. And squeeze, yes you can. And breathe. Down. Whew. Getting a feel for this back to basics. We're gonna add the row in just a minute so we get those strong muscles. We got a lot of push with our shoulders. We're gonna get a lot of pull with our row here. Good, take it in one hand, watch me. Flat back, row at the bottom, all the way up, hand it off, flat. Here's another option. You can hand it off from the ground. Squeeze, set it down, bring it up. So yes, you need to hinge a bit as you come up. So we're sneaking in a little bit of a hinge, a deadlift, right? So it's kind of like a cross between a plie squat and a sumo deadlift. Whoo, those legs are burning, right? Yes, breathe. Keep it going. Down. Chest open, flat back. Again, if you need to take it to the ground. Two. One more. Good, hold it in one hand. Give yourself a second to rest those legs. We're gonna step it out, drop it low in the row, pull it in with a plie, watch me. One time, down, row, squeeze it up, heels together. Down, join me, flat back row, heels together. All the way up and all the way down. Watch my back, again, it's that hinge. Then I'm coming up and squeeze. Down, row, and up, down. And up, yes you can. One more. Good, switch your sides. Let's get ready. Catch your breath, heels together. Step it out, drop that chest. Down, row, everything in. So as I pull those inner thighs in, I'm lifting in the core. Whoo, yes, flat. There we go. Pull with that shoulder blade. Think about that strong back, working hard. Two. One more. Hold it right here. Just your row for eight. Stay low and hinge. You need to come up out of it, come up out of it. Four more. Four, nice and strong. Three, two, one. Relax, have it out. Ooh. Right, we're still in our five minute round. We got two minutes to go. I know, team. I'm feeling it too. Catch your breath. Take it up here. Take it up, high or low windmill. So two options, you're here. You're dropping it down. We're only going eight or low. Up to you. Find where you wanna be. Take it up high, drop it low. It's a hinge. Three, two, one. We got eight and up, breathe into it, push into that back leg. If you got that weight high, you gotta spot that bell. If you're not familiar with the windmill, keep it low. It's a hinge, right? But we get lots of oblique side abs, right? Yes. Whoo. There we go. Breathe, switch your sides. Take it up high or low. We got one minute to go. Only eight, zip up that core. Take it down and breathe. Whew. Slow and controlled, I know we're burning. 
Breathe. Yes. Two more. Last one. We got 30 seconds to go. Set that weight to the side. Let's get those side abs working. Big arms. Here we go. 30. Join me here. Side abs. Side abs. Open up the knees and the hips. So we got a lot of hip openers in this round. That's intentional. Let's keep it moving. Take it up. Those hips get really tight and they get really into that forward motion. We kept them open for about a solid five minutes, right? Keep it moving. 10 seconds. Here's your sweat. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Yes, you can. And yes, you did. Catch your breath, team. We're going to go into a swing. Then we're back to those dumbbells halfway through this workout. I told you it's going to go quickly. All right, grab a heavy kettlebell if you got it, or dumbbells, whatever is better for you. Whew. We're gonna get it done. If you've never done a swing before, I want you to keep it with the hinge. Deadlift, those muscles are tired after that sumo hinge, but you can do it. If you have done the swing, you're comfortable, we're gonna power it back, power it up, let it drop. So use that posterior chain, back of the legs, glutes, hamstrings, core, to bring it all the way up. Let's get 30 seconds, hinge it here. Power three, two, up, here we go. This is a short round, 30 seconds as opposed to five minutes, right? And breathe. Power it up, lock it out. Lock it out at the top, let it drop. Up, lock, lock, and drop. Power. Zip up that core, push into the feet. All through your feet, but especially those heels. Yes, you can. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Pedal your feet. Yes, team. All right, kettlebells out of the way. We're gonna get it done. Woo! With back to dumbbells. So we got our second five minute round with our dumbbells. All right, again, I'm gonna start with my tens. I'm gonna have my fives close by if we need them. Try to go heavy if you can. We're starting with the side lunge team. Then we're gonna add an opposing curl, kind of like we did with those presses, one up, one down in our side lunge. But we'll start side lunge, we'll start alternating, we'll start stationary. Ready, here we go, five minutes. Side lunge, push out of it. So shift your weight, we're starting stationary, back to basics. It's a little hip hinge, and we're pushing into that outer thigh and hip. So we had a lot of inner thighs with that plie, right? Now we got outer thighs with that side lunge. <sighs> Trying to get them all in. All right, if you can, step into it right here, still alternating, out and in. Take it low to high, yes. Breathe, don't forget about that core. I know, just because we're not working it doesn't mean we can't work it, right? Let's add the biceps at the top, right? Drop it low at the top. Take it down and up. Four more right here, just like this. Take your time, regular bicep curl. If you just got your kettlebell, you're between two hands. One minute down, four to go. All right, hold it here. So watch me here, I want you to start it here. You're gonna alternate, we're gonna go side lunge all on one side as we switch our biceps. Watch me here one time. You're here to here, ready. Here we go, one side, down and up. Yes, you can. Down and up. Being mindful that you keep that shoulder or that weight wrapped in the shoulder, that you're not leaning into it, right? Four more. Four and up. Three. Woo, right? A little different. Two. One more. Hold it down here. Pump it. Four, eight, seven. Stay low. You can do it. Six, five, four, three, two, rack them up right here, push eight, side lunge, stationary, seven, yes, six, little shift of the weight, five, drive those hips back, four, three, if you need to, drop them low, you can do it here, two, and one, 
shake it out. We're gonna get that on the other side, all right? So, you're alternating that curl. So one high, one low. We got eight to the side. Then we're gonna hold it and go through those arms for eight. Go through that stationary lunge for eight. Let's get it done. In three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. Down and up. Yes, you can. Burn in those arms. Try to stay heavy if you can. You know you're strong. You know you can do it. You're here. You showed up. Woo! As you feel yourself get tired, check in with that core, right? And up. Breathe. One more. Hold it down. Switch those arms. Here we go. We got eight, seven, six, five. Stay low. Good form. Three, two, rack them. Push up eight. Sit low. Seven. Rest them on the shoulders if you need to, if that keeps your chest low. Or again, you can take them low if that's better, but try to keep them up. Four. There's that heart rate. Three. Woo! Two, one. I know it's a little tricky to get good range of motion on that, right? Give your hands a little break from that. I know, team. Yes, breathe. All right, we're gonna aim for a little tricep kickback to finish it off. If you need to go a little lighter, go a little lighter, or you can alternate one at a time. But hinge it here. We're gonna hinge, kick back, and lift. Here we go. Back and up. So you probably can start heavy on this, but if it gets too much, do one at a time. Elbows are up. You're pointing that weight towards the ceiling. It's a tricky one, but go for it if you can. Breathe, get low. If you want, tap a little lower, not full lunge, but you can do it. Yes, breathe. Keep it moving. Whoo. Yes, team. All right, last 30 seconds. Can you curtsy? Bring it up. Take it curtsy, push back, bring it up. Watch me, curtsy. Elbows go high. Here, high to the back, and then curl to the shoulders. Breathe. So much arms here, right? Biceps, triceps, push and pull. Yes, you can, I know, and up. Breathe. Let's get two more. One more. Weights down right here. Finish it out. Three, two, one. Shake it out, team. Yes, you did it. Quick sip of water. Ooh, arm burner, right? Leg burner too, but lots of arms. Here's what we got. We are going to get a two minute round of core, but we're gonna get a swing right before. So go ahead, heavy kettlebell or dumbbells. Let's get a swing. And then we're down on the mat for our last five minutes with the kettlebell. Core engage, hinge it here. Remember deadlift to modify, otherwise power it up. Let's get it done, three, two, one. Here we go, power, 30 seconds. Then we finish on the mat team. We're gonna combine our last round of kettlebell with some core. And breathe, yes you can. Up, and up. Yes! Woo! All the way through, 10 seconds. Squeeze in those armpits. I know it's a weird cue, but arms are not lifting, but they're tight, right? Three, two, one, and relax. Catch your breath, team right here. I want you to just pedal those feet. Weights out of the way, medium kettlebell. Whew, I'm gonna have my light one close by. We are coming down to the mat to finish this off. Whoo! Let's meet me down on the mat. We're gonna start with a press and actually we'll start with some core. Then we'll add that kettlebell. Let's get it done. Gotta have my air. All right, team. So, Kettlebell between two hands. I'm gonna go a little lighter, but you do what is best for you. Start with it between two hands. Modification is, you're just gonna go one leg up and down. Scoop it, right? Pre, post, DR. Everybody else, keep it up top. Lower the legs one at a time. Here we go, last five. Whoo! Breathe, flex your feet to get that stretch, especially after that swing, right? Down. 
and up, down, and up, yes, breathe, Woo. there we go, yes, one more each way, good, bring those feet in, I want you to bring that kettlebell to one side, you're going to extend one leg out, watch me first, I'm going to go up and down. I'm trying to lift in the bridge with one, lift in the core with the other, press with one. If that is too much, two hands, two feet, press and bridge. You know it, but let's try to get one side. Three, two, one, here we go. We're up and down. Sorry, lift in the bridge if you can. You're lifting with the hips, but that's an option if you just want to be here, right? Take it up and down. Breathe. Whoo. Feel that glute. Feel the chest and shoulders. Four. Yes. Three. Two. One. Hold it up right here. Bring it up. Hold that weight. Little crunch right here if you can. Eight. Little lift. Seven. If that's too much, just hold it and contract. Four more. Four. Three, two, one. Very carefully switch to that other side. If you need to roll to the other side to get a little blood, go for it. Otherwise, here are your options. Remember, you can do two hands, press and bridge. You can do opposite with the bridge, or you can just do the leg. Join me here, zip up that core. Three, two, one. Take it up and down. So you've got core, you got chest, shoulders, triceps, you got lots of glutes and hammies in the back of that leg, right? And you got a lot of coordination. So do the best you can. Take it up and down. Whoo, and breathe. Four more. Four. Yes. Three. Two. Good, hold it here, bring it up. Little crunch and down, little lift. I want that movement from the center. If you need to, take it with just the body weight. Four, three, two, one. Take it down right here, bring those legs up. Flex and stretch, pull it in for two. You know I love the scissors after a bridge, right? We get the stretch here. You can also take those arms out. Breathe, so you get stretch with both. Modification is just here, keep the legs down. Yes, we got two minutes to go. Four, three, two, one. Relax, turn it over onto your side. Kettlebell in the front on that elbow. We're gonna lift it up and hold right here. Tap it in, tap it down. Reach it up, tap it down, reach it up. If you want, just tap or rotate and up. You can do that on the knee or on the feet. Yes, team. Four more, four, three, yes, two, one. Boom, swing it around to that other side or rotate that weight. Whatever you got, you don't have to actually touch the weight. But let's bring it up. Here we go, dab it down and up. You can just tap and reach or rotate your full body, right? Breathe. Yes. Boom. Four more right here, so close. Four, three, two, one, if you can, turn it in. You can do bird dog, or you can hold that plank. Tap those knees right here. Finish it strong, 20 seconds. Tap your knees. Yes, your core should be on fire. You can add a little twist with the tap if you want. Breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch it back. Yes, team. All right, you know what? We gotta make time for a bonus move. How about this, team? 
How about we do 30 seconds of a swing? 30 seconds of my favorite mountain climber. You can decide if you want 30 seconds of a standing climber or 30 seconds of a plank climber. Up to you, but let's get it done. This is your last minute. Catch your breath, 30 seconds swing, then pop it right down or up. 30 seconds climber, let's get it done. Here we go, hinge it. You can also deadlift in three, two, one. Power, all the way through. This is your last swing, so make it good. Connect to the core, squeeze in those glutes. Lots of power on your way up, all the way through. Yes, you can. You are doing it. 10 more seconds on this swing, then we are all core and cardio to finish it out with that burn. Huh. You should still feel your core. Three, two, one. Swing it and relax. Fine. The power, here we go, run it through. You can go quick, you can tap it in, or again, you can take it standing. Standing, whatever you got, team, let's get it done. Core, cardio, upper, lower, all the way. You were so close for three, two, one and relax, stretch it back. Uh, wherever you are, I want you to come into whatever stretch is good for you right where you are. For me, it's that child's pose. Maybe it's down dog for you. Maybe it's a standing hamstring or side bend, side body, whatever you got. Lean into it. Come up on all fours, or if you're standing, you can do standing cat cow, round through that back. All the way through, yes, team. I know, those were long, right? I'm sure when you heard burn, you thought we'd do a ton of pulses and holds. Not so many, right? Just longer sets. Go ahead and roll back onto your feet or hinge over wherever you are and pedal right through here. Feel that hamstring. Let your head and neck relax. Fingertips right through here. Whew. And breathe. Slowly roll it up. Thank you for hanging with me through those long sets, through those five minute rounds. Take it here. Ha. Sometimes it works really well to have those very timed out sequences. 40 seconds, 45 seconds, 30, 20. You know exactly how much time you're going for. You know exactly how much time you get to rest. But sometimes, it is good just to push through in blocks. I don't know about you, but sometimes those blocks go by quicker because you know you just gotta get through five minutes, which sounds long compared to 40 seconds, but sounds short in the grand scheme of things, right? Reach those thumbs to the back. If you can, hinge it over, and if you want, grab right here, or stay up and grab it. Either way, thank you for being here today. Make sure you check out all the links in the description below. And of course, make sure that you like this video, you let me know in the comments what you thought, and don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe to this channel, that helps me keep making these free workouts for you. Open up the hips, shift into that, roll through that wrist. You don't have to get super deep unless it feels good for you and your balance. Join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club if you need more support and accountability. That is the place to be. That is where we can really go in depth with you on your burning questions, those hot topics, and your personal journey. You get direct access to me and our Body Fit Dietitian. So join us there. And of course, don't forget to follow me at Body Fit by Amy. And again, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, that hit that little bell, so you always know what is coming up in the Body Fit world. Thank you so much for showing up today. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your sweat burn with weights workouts. Great job, everybody.